there was no way I could resist uh, accepting the position of celebrity co-chair. Um, the festival has been everything to me, uh, very instrumental in my career. Um, when I met the great Marptastic Larry Leon Hamlin, um, he spoke a word into my life. Um, I, had, I remember wanting to be a part of the festival for years, and then I got a chance to debut in the festival as uh, you know, with uh, as a headliner, and um, and. When I did that, he spoke a word to my life and said that I was going to be on Broadway and I'll be a Broadway star and all this stuff. And I was unable to attend the next festival because those prophetic words that he spoke to me came true. And so uh, since then, um, the, my career has just been had a wonderful takeoff, wonderful start, and I believe it was uh, largely to Larry Leon Hamlin sewing so deeply into my life, into my spirit, to then give me the courage to go out there and, and pursue my dreams. And so now, as celebrity co-chair, I want to sow into other artists and to encourage people and let them know, especially people in the interim, they can, you know, believe in themselves and I'll offer any and everything that I can in my experience to help and enhance uh, future generations. So that's why I'm here. On a personal note, this festival is everything to me. Uh, it's like a family reunion. We get a chance to honor all of those who paved the way. Uh, I get a chance to uh, just meet people that I've admired for so long uh, and also get a chance to sort of do the balance, right? So when you have a, a mentorship, it's like a balance of two things. So you make sure you have a mentor and a mentee. So from the festival, I have several mentors like Andre DeShields, uh, Petri Bird Hawkins, and then I have several mentees that I've also picked up from the festival. Uh, Brandon Cook is one of my mentees. So it keeps me balanced, holds me accountable for what my mentors tell me, and I'm also held accountable for what I tell my mentees. What I'm excited about the most is seeing the wonderful theater. Uh, I love black theater. I got my start way before Broadway and all that stuff. I worked in uh, black theater specifically for seven years in the Chicagoland area. So I'm really excited to see the work uh, for, from the future of playwrights and the uh, actors and artists and, and professionals in this industry. So I'm excited to, to support them, to, uh, to sow into them, and to also do everything I can to help continue to usher and move this thing forward.